Hello everyone, let me find the video. Oh, right. No, not there yet. Make sure the volume's down there. I've been editing videos. There we go. Excellent. So, hello everyone. Um, oh, hello D. Uh, so we are on Facebook and YouTube. So whichever one works for you better. We have. A few bips and bobs here tonight. We are going to be using the pink tissue again. Just because we had a question last week on our live. Could you um, stencil onto tissue? Like could you do paint onto the tissue? And then stick it down. And I'm also going to do another one where you can do like paint underneath the tissue. So then you guys can see it. And we might like add in another color cover like um but and now we've got this pink tissue available that's all i do have a few other colors but um we are running out of some of the tissue colors and we don't really get in a second batch of that color so we're just gonna do pink i think obviously if you were going to use black tissue with the technique that we're going to do tonight it probably wouldn't work um just a heads up so let's get going, shall we? I've cleaned my desk as well. I don't know if you can tell that by the video. Probably not because I generally try and keep this bit fairly organised. But everything is clean and my area is clean. Like I know all my pencils and pens are. I'm ready. You're all going to be very shocked. So just prepare yourselves. I have sorted my paint tub. Look, most of them are standing. I know. Hello, Michelle and Rosie and uh, Dai G and Tash and Karen and Dai D. Yes, we've had a huge cleanup. But look, I actually look fairly organized. My side's clean. Mum's side's clean. She doesn't have a mountain of doom anymore. And we can see the floor. We can walk in there. We can even have a dance in our area. Hello, Pam. So, like, we're having great times. So, we are going to get started. Now, with the tissue paper, we're going to do two different runs with stenciling onto tissue paper. And the reason for this is, is that blending brush and sponges do create two different types of wetness, I think you could call it, or two levels of thickness. So, um, we're just going to cut this one here. I know, it's scary. Hi, Di, uh, Di B and Jeanette. Okay, yeah. So, it's very scary. So, we're going to do one that's blending brush and one that's a sponge just to get us started. Now, I know that we've done pink heat, pink a lot, and now we're doing pink again because I didn't confirm with Dad what was our next tissue colour um, that I would have available to put into the kits. So, we might try and mix it up because we've recently done pink and blue and then last week we did pink on pink so if we did like a pink green and purple vibe something a bit different there or a pink green and we could even go for red maybe or brown just for something like a little bit you know see the difference like i got that green there and i've got this brown and i think it matches really well with our pink i want to get this kind of sorted Oh my gosh, your craft room's half pack. Go Pam. I do want to get this kind of sorted now. We might even do, if we do green, because I've got these green mists here, we could even, I could even show you what it looks like when you um, spray onto tissue paper. Would anyone else like to see that as well? Not just stenciling, but how it goes when you Lindy mist it on. Just let me know in the comment section if you want, because that's an option if we go with the green colour palette. The other options we have is we could go probably an orange 
we could go again with this burgundy and really um and purple and stick to kind of the tones we've been going with okay you want to yeah because the only green spray that i current the only spray i've currently got that's full enough to do that is the green right we'll go stick with the green color palette then oh hello mary hello debbie right so let's we're going to move our art journal completely out of the way just a heads up and we're going to move that piece out of the way i have that piece there just you know as extra collage so let's come in and open up our green and let's do our stenciling ones first because yeah this is we're gonna make something out of an experiment after this obviously this is just like experimenting what happens with tissue paper with different mediums and then we'll go into making a page out of it somehow well hello Karis so let's get into it so we've got our sponge now I've let one side go hard but the good thing about this because it's a good quality sponge we can actually tear back this layer that's dead put that in the pocket and I've got a workable sponge again so you can just keep tearing back or keep cutting back 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 as long as it's a good sponge it does work that way Right, there we go. So we're going to start with sponging. Now with tissue paper, you do want to go as light as possible. So just be fully aware of that. So this is, I don't have much on there. As you can see, there's not much of a lip on. Oh, it's not focusing there. It's, there is no lip yeah. of the paint. It's just what the sponge just picked up on the very surface. We come in. And continue to spread it. I think we're going to go for the full coverage of what the stencil can do. Um, I do need my water tub out of the bathroom. Now we can get that. Um, you might have to because I need it full. Sorry, I was just talking to my siblings. They're walking past. Right, so that there is as our stencil fully stenciled. You don't have to do it fully stenciled. I just want you to see how it looks fully stenciled. So that's how it looks fully stenciled. I do like it. If you flip it over the back, you can see that the tissue paper is starting to crease up on itself as it dries, just where the wetness is. But if you lay it nice and flat, it shouldn't move too much. So we're just going to move that to a flat surface. Slash over a little bit. I keep my scrap of fancies together. Yeah, it is. It's an awesome stencil, honestly. There we go. And now this here. We're going to go for our next one. I think this stencil would look really cool. Um... Uh, behind like a photo of a night out or something just because the pattern kind of reminds me of okay like clubbing lights I don't know why heads up I am young so I do go to clubs my young adult but yeah that's what it reminds me of clubbing lights or when you go to like a trivia night at a bar because for some reason I always have like pattern lighting I don't know we're at a pub right here we go and let's go on with our bunny brush and remembering starting on the edge we're just going to come in and circle it on try not to push too hard because tissue paper can easily become holy and this is the risk we do run with the blending brush technique on the tissue paper Oh, wasn't there oh, quite excellent. How's my paint tub going? Is it not in the bathroom? I'm going to get it now. Oh, while you're at it, can you wash this one? Yeah. Make sure it's washed really good because it's heavy body paint. There we go. Yep. And as you can see, because the tissue paper doesn't have as much body on it um, as normal paper does, some of the paint does seep through a fair amount. 
and that's just where we were heavier and that's where we ran so so when i peeled it off and i had to move my hand that's because if i hadn't moved my hand to um become a little bit more i don't know leverage wise um it would have ripped the tissue paper but here we go a very similar effect you do get a bit more like gradient between the layers along the edge here and in a few of the middle bits but yeah pretty much i think is similar so that's the sponged so it's very creasy it's starting to get very creasy but this is the blending brush and there's no creases at all because it's a thinner layer of paint there we go and let's do our lindy smiths now Okay, and we do want to keep one so then we can stick it over top of our foundation print. So we're just going to move this one out of the way. So that's our bit that we're going to use to stick on top of the one that we're going to do in our art journal. Go, And we're going to do the one in the art journal first because once we add Lindy's Mist to this, it's going to get pretty liquidy. So I'm just going to grab our art journal and we might do it on i think we'll do it on this page i'm going to do it on an angle because you know why not as they say so it's like it looks like it's coming out of the side of the page there is it clean is there any paintbrushes with this or no no it is oh yeah. um, i still have my paintbrushes at work Thanks, Nolly. Oh, sorry, ladies. Here we go, just coming in. No, thank you. And there we go. There is that one there. So we're going to stick our tissue paper over on top of that one. I know, Pam. One day she might. Okay. Okay, so let's lay that one flat and holding him down going to come in and remembering if it's got the word starburst on it you do have to shake the bottle up because it's got a pigment in it that makes it shimmer if you don't shake it up it might end up a bit claggy that's the only problem or you might block your spritzer a bit more often so and i'm spraying it fairly far away which means that i do get a bit more oversplash here but i'm trying to avoid it getting really wet but still trying to get the pattern in, so lift that. I don't think this will work. Oh, it kind of does. Okay, hold up. Let's get rid of the excess. I'm gonna use the excess for something, you know. Stamp it onto our page here. Oh, look at that. I do like that. That was unintentional. It's a bit different. I'll show you that first. That was the excess spray. It picked up some of the paint as well. So that's, I think that's pretty cool. What about you? And then this is the Lindy Mist. So as you can see where it kind of bended up a little bit, it smushed. But apart from that, it looks really well. It is really fragile though. Like, um... We're definitely going to sit this one off to the side it needs to dry i'm not going to heat it because then it's just going to like crunch in on itself kind of like binko um binko or upo or alcoholic paper will just scrunch in on itself because the media will attract it in i kind of look like shrek here um the 
the paint will attract it in and then you'll have to de-scrunch it out and put an encyclopedia on it or something. Yeah, the excess looks amazing. Thank you, Daiji. Thank you, dear. Okay, right, let's see what we've got. We've got multiple things now made. We've got three Dalmatian patterns off here and then we've got a piece of pink that we're going to put. Oh, look at that. See? You're going to be able to see that for miles. Miles! So what I think will actually be really cool is because we've got so many of these, if we actually layer them up but in between the layers we do like a scrape of um, brown here and a bit of um, like a brayer roll over here and all that type of stuff because then I'll add to the layers. So we'll do our first layer of brown um, and hopefully we'll balance out the pink and the white. We are using a fairly dark brown though, so we're just going to be a bit a bit mindful. If I've got any left in the tube, I have some left in this tube. I checked all my paints yesterday. I shouldn't have any dead tubes. Uh, I use, I don't know if we've got any in stock, sorry, it was just the only one I had. It's the Bells of Island Green. Any green will work for this. Oh, any Starburst will have the same technique as well so if you have a similar one it should work uh, distress ink should work as well it just won't have the shimmer on it um, and distress ink might pick up like the distress ink sprays might pick up a bit more of the paint because they'll have the same um, type of base the oxide ones will especially with the acrylic paint so it'll pick up a bit more of it and make more of a cloudy effect it is it's a nice shade it makes you go lime though. Like, look at that. That's a serious. Like, I hope that washes off tonight. If not, when I drop Amelia off, people are going to think I'm turning into Shrek. It'll be fine. Okay. Well, all the kids will at least. Um, let's get going, shall we? So, I think the first layer of brown we're going to do is we're going to come in and I think we're going to do a brayer roll. And the reason why we're going to do a brayer roll. Is that it ends up being a lot lighter than a scrape and we want to keep our bottom layers light so we can keep sticking and not have to stop and start so let's just come in I'm just gonna put it in a few areas and scrape it along to start with and then grab our brayer I remember once turning up to church with bright blue hands. That was a little bit hard to explain to my religion teacher. Had art before. And then I'll just come in. And because we're bringing it on, look at that there. The green is coming through the brown and that is happening because the green that we're actually using it's where's the tube of that green okay did i put it back in where it's supposed to go problems oh no it's up on top here right. the green is a heavy body paint so it's a heavy body paint which means that it's actually going to come through the normal acrylic. I know. I've already got the Bogan accent to go for it too. Oh. Right, let's get started, shall we? Let's come in. And we've got to do a bit of balancing act here. I would have just like to do a full page of pink tissue, but I don't think it's going to look any good because there'll be no pink tissue over here to start with. So what we're going to come do is I think we're going to stick a piece of pink there. Obviously, we'll let's just trim off the over bit naturally. And let's put a piece of pink. You reckon that way or that way? I think this way here might make a bit more sense. There we go. Right, let's stick that down. Sorry, my shirt's waving all around. It's one of the bigger ones. Um... It's one of my comfy BJ ones. Oh, shit. It's a public holiday. Oh, 
I found my glue. This is in a comb. I put my glue in this tub as well. There's a cat at the back door. Sorry, folks. I'm just grabbing the glue. Found it. It was right over in the other corner. It's just easier to get it. Okay. And let's put a bit of glue out. There we go. We shouldn't need too much of our gel medium tonight. Just because we're working with tissue. Now, just be very careful that if your page is still wet, the paint is definitely going to move. So I'm just going to do this top corner and along the outer edge on the piece of paper because that's the bit that's going to need the most um, glue on it so then it doesn't get wear and tear. But then the rest of the glue I'm going to put on the back of our piece of tissue. Now this does make it very flimsy and more likely to rip. So just be careful. I am doing this bit on the back of it just because I know there's no wet paint on here. And I do want my patterns to kind of stay as they are currently because I think they look really cool. So I'm just coming in. Being careful not to rip it. Flip it over. try and line it up but once it gets stuck that's pretty much where it's going to stay just a heads up so it does add a bit of pinkiness to it there we are coming in and I'm getting this towel bit here so we don't want any air bubbles tissue paper trying to get it back up again because you've got an air bubble underneath it is near impossible I've done it once well actually no, I've done it three times and all times I have ripped it beyond belief like it's just easier to get it right while you're originally sticking it down rather than going back and trying to fix it. Oh dear. And that is what we have to be careful of. Oh well. We can piece it together. So I come in, piece it together. So we put the top bit down first. Then put the ripped edge along here. And get this stuck correctly and let's add a few other intentional creases there so then the rip bit is unseen look at that what rip don't know what you're talking about Woo! And there we are. So we've got that step there so far done. I do like him. So then what we might come and do is we're going to grab our stencil and our brown. And we're just going to come in and stencil it down in three areas because remember our eyes love odd numbers so we've got one two and last but not least three I'm able to do these scraping techniques because we are officially in warm weather folks I've been looking forward to saying that for months. I will not complain about the heat. Love it to pieces. Willingly love it. Spring is my favourite season, season, even though I get hay fever really badly. Um, I still love spring. I will always be a spring fan. But no, 
is finally my favorite time of year. Okay. So let's put that there. I do think we might need to add just a little bit more green in this layer. Just because, you know, I feel like we're starting to lose the green a little bit, which was probably going to happen because, like, the tissue paper with the green's maybe not going to be enough. So I'm just trying to find where my washi tape thing went. Well, this is the only bar bad part about cleaning up. Well, Pacific thing I'm looking for. One minute. Now. I'm looking for an empty roll of washi tape for the circle bit. Oh, here. On it. Plan B. Let's use the edge of our ruler. Ooh. Yes, <laughs> definitely kicked into it. Yes, yeah. 32 degrees. That's quite hot for you guys down there, isn't it? I did see that you were going for a heat wave down south. Hope everyone's staying safe during it. It's easy to get dehydrated in the first few weeks of hot weather. Um, yeah, the trees, the day at the front, the trees started flowering of um, the stool. Dad, can probably, Dad and I can probably even give you the minute it happened. Because, yep. It's like, quick, over to the pharmacy, Zyrtec. So yeah, it just was not. I never really used to get bird hay fever though as a kid. Seems to be only in my adult years. There we go. So just a bit of green added, and we've added it on. Need to clean the creative ruler. Where's the piece of gauze? Wet gauze. Mix all that up. And then you come in with a piece of dry gauze. Where's my secondary piece of gauze? Oh, who knows? All your pants. And clean. There we go. See? Very easy. Shove that back where it was. Ah. Get that piece of gauze open and stretched and up there. There we go. And then let's. This one. So we're just coming along, we're ripping around the edge. I did mine in the bit of the center of this pink, just so then you guys could clearly see what the stencil was. You guys could go right up to the edge. It's perfectly fine. It's up to you. Now we've got that piece there. And then we've got two pieces of it. I definitely think we could use this to our full advantage here.
Okay, and then we do need a third one, so I'm just going to rip this piece off. Stick it here. I don't think we're going to use this Lindy Smith's one because it's still, like I can move it like this, but it's not fully dry, which means if we are glued to this now, it doesn't matter if I heat dry it or not, it's going to rip. So might try and do a project with this during the week so then we can show you on the weekly roundup on the Saturday of how it looks after it's been glued to something. I just don't want to run the gauntlet because, yeah, and there's still a few puddles there. So we're just going to put that up to dry because it's just not going to, it's going to rip. completely honest it's gonna fully rip like it'll be it'll rip well but it will be blanket okay now it is looking very busy so I have an idea it involves white paint would you believe I know how would you guess it involves white paint Grab this one, take our seal off. Very good. Oh. See, we did different trials of the tissue paper and the paint and stuff so some people to see. Yeah, good idea. How it looks. Right, let's grab some of our gesso out or white paint. Can you use either one for this one? I'm just using my gesso because I've got a tub of it. And I find it easier in classes because I can pallet it out at an excess and then I just pallet it back in at the end of class if I've got any left find the tubes a bit difficult you can kind of get it back in the tubes but it takes a lot of work and yep it's a Monday we're creating for fun right let's grab our Flat brush, it can be round tipped or, or this one's a round tip or a flat tip, it's up to you. And then what we're going to come and do, um, I'm going to keep my brush dry so then the paint is as opaque as much as possible. Yep, I'm just sticking it down with white paint and then means that the pattern's opaque and then along the edge, I'll lift it up for this bit. Let's see you can see. So I've done this one here, right? So I've put white paint underneath and then along the edge, I'm just coming in. And doing that. And what that does is it blends it in. We did mix a bit of the brown, but that's okay. You just keep going. And to keep your paintbrush dry, when you get that extra paint on it, you can either do this on your hand or in your pants if you don't like it, apron or even into a piece of gauze. And I'll get the excess paint off on top and you'll be left with white. So let's lift. Oh, it's the piece of gauze that's dripping. Don't worry about me. Right, so let's lift this one up. I'm gonna come in. This will cover a little bit of our layers, but not that much. And it's okay if you come in with a lead pencil and mark out where it is. I'm just gonna eyeball it a little bit because I'm not afraid of a little bit of it being over the edge of my tissue paper. And I'm not afraid that it covers too long, not enough, because we can always come in and lift it up and um, where the bits aren't stuck and slide a bit more in, because it'll be along the edge. But I'm definitely making sure the body bit will have enough. There we go. So we just come in. We start at the very edge corner here. Come 
and if you're not quite getting the blend you want with your paintbrush just come in with your finger and smooth it out or a sponge tissue paper that I put stuff down. That was a good save. Like I said it's okay if we pick up this extra paint here because what we can do is we can make it seem intentional by adding a little bit more of it. making it a part of the pattern and we're just coming in and really getting along that seam there. I have ripped the tissue paper but that's okay because I'll just come in and pat that one down and then let's get the rest of this side finished off. There we go, see? It's giving us a little bit more, I think, of a break on our eyes. Do you think that looks quite cool? Okay, and then if we come in, I'm just going to put our scissors. Don't use a good pair of scissors for this, so go on their paint. You want the pair that you dislike, but still manage to cut. And you've got to keep it in your stash because, you know, you never throw out a pair of scissors that's, that can still cut. No matter how much you may dislike them. There we go. And just coming in and folding over that little bit of excess there. I'm running a tip of white along it with your finger to stick it down. Okay. Ta-da! Right, and now let's come in and do the last segment of our green tissue paper. I do think that looks quite all right. I don't miss the inconsistent weather temps in New South Wales. Yeah. Once it's hot, it's hot in Queensland, which is what I do like. So, well, in central Queensland especially. There's a reason why I moved back up to central Queensland. I might have paid a little bit of a low on it. we go. Look at that. And then we come in. We've got a paintbrush. Do the same effect. I'm just running the white along there a little bit more. So it looks natural. Okay. And then... Coming up here. Oh. Ran out of white. That's where 
right, you guys are swimming, but water do. Go. I do like that. I just adding a bit of white to some of the areas that are a little bit more whiter than others. Just to give us a little bit of a contrast. I do think we're gonna have to come back in this corner with our brown and do the uh, Dalmatian print again because we have lost it which means our balance is just uh, slightly off it's not too bad but it's slightly just washing out that one come on Pop this up. there we go so I'll lift it up for you. So the white makes the tissue paper opaque. So we did lose a little bit of the background work we did, but as you can see, we still have a lot of it there. And I do like how the tissue paper creates the separation between our separate layers. I think that's really cool. I reckon this would look cool with a blue or a yellow tissue paper as well. Okay, so we've got that. Feeling of jungle. Ooh. I we can use our words to spell jungle somewhere. Anyway, let's give this a bit of a whirl first. We've got to get a bit more brown on here. Actually, I just had this fort. This would look really good with the Magical Memories rice paper leaves on top. All the rice paper mushrooms. Oh. Would have looked lovely, perfect opportunity. It didn't bring any home. Right. Might have to draw some mushrooms on it. Hmm. We might give it a bash in a minute. Give it a bit of a whirl. Just making it a little bit more brown. There we are. And then let's come in. I left my paintbrushes I normally use at work. It's just slightly annoying. Actually, no, there they are. Oh, don't worry, they're over here. Found them. I'll we'll still use this green one because it's the correct size. This paintbrush here. So I'm just coming in. It's a flat tip paintbrush I'm using. Just grabbing it. Because I'm just redoing my green lines and I'm adding my third one back in because I've covered it up. In the process of doing the other bits and pieces and I'm going to come in and re-highlight these ones
Okay. Hey, Noel. Yeah? Can you ask me if we've got any magical memories rice paper here? Um, do we have any magical memories rice paper? Yeah. Do you want magical memories or just any? I just thought it would look cool with the mushrooms. What do you think? It looks um, like it's missing it something. But I do have bouquets. Oh, that might work. I just feel like it's missing something. And I forgot to grab rice paper while I was at now work. Now I have to reveal a secret. This is my special <laughs> papers tub. Oh, you've been hiding something from me. <laughs> Fast it over. Come on. Come on. I did have it in a clipsaw bag that you knew about, but I'm... <sighs> I wondered where this went. Oh, you can tell you how it's still on me. Demo. We're in a box that we shouldn't be in, folks. <laughs> Looking for, oh, look there. Before we dig too deep, so we've got wet paint on our hands. I don't think Mum wants oh, it's okay. green paint on everything. There's one of bouquets. There's oh, buckets. We've got bouquets. Or oh, we've got butterflies you all know how much you love butterflies this is a hard decision hey noah wow. you locked up that jokes didn't you i did lock up the jokes right so what do you reckon butterflies or bouquets well, like butterflies look good on anything bouquets we are missing majority of the colours. Yes. We're just missing the majority of the colours. We're going to have to add a lot of paint if we do those ones. Bouquets or both? Oh, split people. Mm. See, if we add these in, we've got to add red dots, yellow circles, or yellow stars, and a flick of purple. If we add these in, we just add the butterflies. Hold up. What if we come in and we go one, two, three? We go for small butterflies. Have to be a custom rice paper people in the bundle this week. And then we go for. This one, oh, we're adding in the butterflies and the bouquets. I sold myself when I told myself what I had to do. I know that makes absolute no sense whatsoever. So I am just doing an initial sip around my things that I want. I sold myself in the bouquets. I don't know how. Actually I do. They're flowers. And I'm a female. <laughs> Who loves flowers. Stick a flower on it, as my mom says. All right, here we go. Let me have some water first before we get on to this next bit. Sorry. Here we go. Ooh, we're back. Now, let's see. This is what we've got so far think the greens match the background stencil green <laughs> oh they do the kings of craft ones right here we go so we've got 
few bouquet options. I'm thinking if we pile up our bouquets. Put one front of there, one down there. And then we put two of our butterflies here. And one butterfly there. Just can we make the word jungle out of this? I don't think we'll have a J. No, but what we do have is the word travel. That makes it so much easier because it's together. Look at that. Travel. <laughs> Go in. Travel. Travel there. Right, let's add in what we need. So we're just going to take these bits out. We'll add in the extra paint we need and then we'll do the fussy bit around the rust papers. So we need our red, we need a purple. And we need a yellow. So that's the purple. I got that covered. Mum's got the yellow we need. The red is the questionable one here. Hmm. Interesting. Sorry. I don't think I'll have the red because I don't keep the red. So. One minute. Give me one second, people. Ah. Okay. Got the red and the yellow. See, I told you. Mum had the red and the yellow. So we're just going to come in. And I would like to say that wasn't my fault. But I think it's partially more to be. Oops, here we go. Just add a little bit of red there. And a bit of yellow. Here. Oh, I'm not doing it. Gonna come in. And we're just gonna do a pattern that we're comfortable with. If you're not comfortable with drawing patterns of paint, you can use some of your stamps to do this bit. It's just important that we get the colours on that are in our bouquets on the page. So then they don't look like a last minute decision to take their work. We're just adding a little bit. The point is, is not like we're making a whole new page. We're just adding the additions. Okay. So we've got that there, and then the yellow. What we might come and do is with our. Oh, I think that might be. 
It might just be the right size. Okay, so we're going to do the tip and then just... And then our flick of purple. Just add a bit of the purple down. Get our fan brush. If I can find my fan brush, yes I can. See how long it takes me to make my desk stick. But it doesn't take me that long, unfortunately. It took me forever to clean it yesterday. Several hours. Okay, here we go. Just coming in. Now there's a spot that you don't want to flick your paint onto. Be wary, I am sticking that on water, sorry, I know you can't see the water because it's up there, so I'm sticking that on water and then just... Coming in and flicking that on. But yeah, if there's a spot that you don't want the flicks to be on, just cover it with a piece of paper. A piece of scrap. There we go. Come in here. Just put it along the edge there. Not too much. Just a little bit. Mm. Just a little bit with the bouquet is going to go. A bit there. Right. Just to balance out some of the colours. So now while that dries, I'm just going to put that up there on the paint box. While that dries, what we're going to come and do Is we're going to get these bits cut out. So for our mini flowers and butterflies, I think we're going to use scissors, but for these ones here, if we water brush them because they'll be laid over top of each other. So we're just coming in and we're watering. Along the edge. Go okay, and lift. Just 
are. So we've got one bouquet done. This is the cheats method. Fussy cutting with rice paper. You might lose a little bit of detail. I'm not too worried about that. Oh shoot, I've got to remember it's daylight savings. Okay. I realize it's late for a lot of you, so let me just. going. We are. Let's quickly come and fussy cut the butterflies out. Luckily they're in easy shape. The trick of cutting rice paper is just to do it with a very sharp pair of scissors. Until like 9 p.m. I'll write myself a note to say I can stay up late to lol. <laughs> Thanks Karen. Oh my gosh. It's actually the first day back at school tomorrow in Queensland. I don't know about the other states. But yet school holidays is officially over. Tomorrow. Should be fun. First term of school traffic. Okay. Okay, here we go. Oh, look at that guy. Get to see the whole video. Yeah, we haven't yet changed over to the um, 6.30 time slot for our night classes just because, yeah, Dad starts a new job this week, so. And it's a cell school and we need to keep a bit of a routine for Amelia and Noah. Especially Noah because he's in his senior year. Uh, he's in his year 11 year. He's selling work on year 12 stuff this term and yeah well Miss Amelia works better if she's got a routine. So here we go. Nearly done. I'm yet to decide if I'm going to use gel medium or white paint to stick these down. It's not good about the traffic, do you? Damn me. I suppose everyone goes south for holidays. Well, at least here they do. Yeah, I think these are definitely going to have to be stuck down some white paint. Yeah, I think white paint it is. Let's just come in, but I don't want to cover up any of my patterns this time, so I'm going to actually paint the white paint on the back of the rice paper. This does mean that it needs to be a bit thicker because it's going to absorb the majority of what you put on it. Just 
coming in. I'm going to start off the easy stuff first. So these two flowers. I am just folding that over the edge because that's the back cover of this journal. Oh, I'm going to have a bit of white purple paints mixed in with that one. She should be alright. Yeah. She's alright, there we go. Uh, I do think white paint was definitely the right way to go. You can see them a little bit more clearly. Ah, pick them up. Right. That one there stuck down. Now let's do our bouquets. This one here is down first. Okay. Um, so that one. Do you think I'll just put a little bit of brown there? Add a bottle of water so that it runs down. Go. We might just come in and just a bit of green down here. Mm. 
Oh, just a bit of green along this edge here. Well, we've lost oh. it. I do think that looks pretty good, nearly. So we'll grab a smaller flat set. Thank you. Ding and die. Thank you so much. And there we go. So we've got all of that there. And I originally started off an experiment with tissue paper. We've made a fight out page. Look at that. I think it looks rather good. I hope you all enjoyed it. I hope you guys got something out of when we did the stuff with the tissue paper and how you can use the different mediums and what it looks like when you use them and all the rest of it. Um we are back tomorrow night, 7 p.m. for card making. It's in open Facebook this week because we are scrapbox weeking it. We're um, rummaging into our scrapbox and culling it down just a little bit through a few projects. Um, and thank you all for coming. So, yeah, we'll be back on tomorrow night with, and you'll have mum for that one. I don't know who was going to be scribing. We get to determine that. You might have Noah or me or dad even so thank you all for coming and yeah we'll see you tomorrow night bye